Good afternoon everyone. In today's video, I'd like to break down a setup in the crude oil futures market and this setup is off of our daily time frame chart. Now, the way I've organized this video is in two different parts. The first is focusing in on the crude oil futures market. In case you prefer trading futures, you can use either the CL or QM futures contracts. And then we'll switch gears in the second half to USO here, where you have a similar setup taking place. Here we have the slingshot squeeze as our potential catalyst. Also, one other thing to add on the note around catalyst, if you come into Forex Factory here, we refresh this. What you should notice is on the 28th, that's in two days from now, we have a catalyst event with crude oil inventories, which should again help with the idea of this overall move we're looking to pan out. Now let's start first with crude oil here. So I'll come back to CL uh, and let's zoom in. So the overall setup that we have for the most part here is an overall bullish market pulse, which suggests an overall bullish trend. We've had a bit of a pullback most recently that transitioned into a bit of red, which suggests that, hey, the market pulse started to lose a bit of its structure. And now most recently, you'll notice we're technically in a stage of accumulation. We have yet to see a bit of green, but for the most part, we're hugging the market pulse line, looking to see if we can start to make a move up towards our previous high. Now, if we zoom out here, using our most recent high, the largest high and largest low over the past five years, this I believe yep five years uh, what you should notice is the 76.90 high the 6.50 low most recently using that we're currently right around that 786 retracement so that gives us the overall bullish bias off of our futures chart it's this notion that hey we're hugging the 786 so far it looks like we're above it so far it looks like the market pulse may be queuing to start to go from uh, a bit of uh, green to red to gray to now once again hopefully green uh, and that's the the setup off of our futures market Coming into QM here, QM, you should notice it basically lines up the exact same way. This is just a mini version. And now if we come into USO, this is where things I think start to get a bit more uh, interesting in terms of having actual data. Now, most recently here, we've had a slingshot squeeze. So let's go ahead and load in our slingshot squeeze back tester to try and help us understand, well, how effective has this signal been over again the past five years? So now over the past five years, every time we've had the slingshot squeeze with our Boolean conditions met, that has led us to have really two trades in total. Both of those have been winners. On average, each trade was good for right around 3.68% and lasted right around seven days. So not necessarily long in terms of duration, also not necessarily large, especially when you compare it to say other markets, uh, maybe growth stocks, tech stocks, etc., where 3.68% is not necessarily uh, the greatest reward. So now using all of that as our information, the entry price that we actually had using the back tester, if we click show report, is 43.04. Our current price is better than that at 42.33, which helps to really increase this number and actually start to make this trade a bit more enticing in terms of, well, why should you even bother participating? Now, one other way that we can take a look at it is if I load in our moving averages here. So this is the 50 simple moving average. That's the silver line. Using that 50 simple, what you should notice is we've had the slingshot squeeze. We're now hugging the 50. So far, we're holding the 50. It's very possible that the 50 breaks as support, and that would really be your uh, potential exit criteria, depending on the tolerance you have on this trade. But that is really the overall notion why we're looking for crude oil or USO, depending on if you trade stocks or futures, to potentially go up. Now let's come into the option chain here on USO to try and see if there's any unusual open interest, which helps us maybe try and craft a potential pin trade or a butterfly or a vertical, something of that sort. So the first thing that stands out, and this is in the May monthlies, which in fact, let's uh, just in case USO is fairly liquid, if we come into the four days to expiration series first, our most uh, near to date expiration series, there are the two strikes that stand out are really these two, where you have the 44, 45 strike. Uh, that to me doesn't seem like you have enough days expiration, but in terms of open interest, the ones that stand out, now we keep coming down beyond that uh, to the 11 days expiration, nothing here that really calls for our attention. Keep coming out to the 18 days, nothing here that really screams uh, attention. Now, if we come into the 25 days expiration, here you have the 22,000 open interest, and that's the strike price of uh, 43, I believe. And so in theory, you would expect that most of these options here, if they're sold, you would expect this premium to essentially expire worthless. And this would be something you'd want to be a seller of, at least I would want to be a seller of. 
And there you have the potential idea if you're looking for a near dated uh, options uh, sort of trade here is just a vertical, a simple vertical in which you're looking to buy the 42s and be a seller of the 43. So if we try and craft that out, that gives you essentially risking one to try and make one, a debit of 50 to try and make a credit of potential 50. Nothing too interesting in terms of skewing the risk to reward, right? So we keep coming down, but 22,000 here is that area that you're looking at. So one other potential trade that you may have is just looking for a pin there. Uh, so that would be 43 and maybe you make this a dollar wide 42 and let's try and make this uh, 44 and that you can currently get for between 12 and 22 cents that might be something that's better suited in terms of trying to play this move if you're using options keep in mind here the commissions is where this starts to add up despite this being 12 cents so that's just one thing to keep in mind now we keep coming out here let's skip over to the 53 days to expiration here, the open interest that essentially stands out is that 15,000 mark, and that's closer to 45, which if we come into our charts here, 45 starts to become that zone that I think would be where ultimately we would want price action in crude to take us off of this squeeze that we're looking to fire uh, long. That would be one potential zone, but let's actually put some uh, tools to use here before we get too deep into the options exercise. So we'll use our most recent swing high to swing low here. That essentially gives us a 50% retracement where we're currently chopping around at 41.96, 1272.46, previous resistance really between that 43.50 to 45 zone. So 45 there does seem like a potentially interesting strike if you gave it 53 days to expiration. So that would be another way that you may potentially be looking at trying to play this is using the June series looking for that 45 pin or even doing something like a vertical in the June series where selling, buying the 44, selling the 45, your risk reward now is skewed a bit more in your favor compared to before when it was one to one. So hopefully that gives you a few different ideas of at least some strikes along with some potential targets just using the near term swing. One last thing that we can do prior to wrapping up this video is using our longer term swing here just to get an idea of what that looks like. So if I expand this to something like a weekly chart, five years, and we use our swing high to our swing low. We take a look to see where we're currently at on USO. That's where we're still chopping right around that 236, which that value comes in at 43.56, overlapping with the 786. So that might be another place you're looking at as a potential near-term resistance zone, which as we continue to just zoom out, you'll notice just how minuscule that really looks. All right, All right. So I hope this video was helpful in at least uh, running through the crude oil futures market along with the USO market, trying to p build out some potential trades in which you at least have the risk reward skewed in your favor, looking for this 50 period to hold a support, looking for the slingshot squeeze to essentially fire along, and for crude to try and break above the previous resistance zone near that 43.50 mark. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and we'll see you in the next update.